Hello, welcome back to Physics One. In this lesson, we'll do a quick review of what we call scientific notation uh, in physics because almost every problem you do is going to involve scientific notation. And to be truthful, when I first learned you know, physics and algebra, scientific notation actually really confused me. So I want to make sure it doesn't confuse anybody else. So the bottom line is, why do we care about scientific notation? It's not just that we like to write things down differently. It's because in science, you have very, very large numbers that you have to always write down. And you also have really, really small numbers. Like if I'm talking about the distance between here and Pluto, it's going to be a really big number in whatever units I'm working in. And also, if I'm talking about the size of a bacteria or an atomic nucleus or something, I'm going to have really, really tiny numbers. So writing large numbers have lots of zeros in, in, in it, and then writing small numbers have lots of zeros like after the decimal point also. And it's just really painful to write all those zeros out. So we have a compacted way to write big, big numbers down and small, small numbers down. And we're just going to quickly review it here. It's very, very simple. What if I want to write the number 316? Now that's not so bad, but what if I wanted to write down this? Okay. Now obviously this is 316 million because here's three zeros and here's three more zeros. Right? This is okay to write down one time, but if I'm writing a giant calculation, writing 316 million, 316 million all the time, it's really, really pain, really real pain in the rear end. Let me show you how we do it, and then I'll explain why it works. The first thing you do is you write the numbers. The zeros don't matter. Just write the actual non-zero numbers down. So we'll write down 316. But what you do is you stick a decimal point right after the first number. So we always put the decimal after the first uh, non-zero number there. So 3.16. And then we write it down like this, times 10. And how do you figure out the rest? Well, if the decimal is here, right after the 3, then you just count 